Hey you who mess with JS, Aegis here and welcome to another video by JS Broadcast. In this video series will be covering ECMAScript 6, so before we start doing that, in this first video we're just gonna prepare our environment for being able to transcompile or compile JavaScript 6 to JavaScript 5 or ECMAScript 6 to ECMAScript 5. So, so the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna open our internal browser and we're gonna go to we're gonna type bebel.js we're gonna go to bebel.js.io we're gonna scroll a little bit down and bebel transform, transforms our javascript and we will go up to the menu the reason why is this so big is because I'm, I have created the best resolution for the videos so you, we can try it out the, the REPL here if we type let bar is equal to x, x you can see that uh, Oops, uh, let uh, x is equal to 2. You can see that here in the right we have compiled version to ECMAScript 5. So this is exactly what we're gonna do in our IDE or our text editor. So instead of using this, I want us to use uh, this on our computers. So if we scroll a little bit down, a little bit down, a little bit down, there is setup bevel, and the, w the one we're gonna use is S. Uh, CLI and when you click it you're gonna scroll a little bit down it says install but instead of following this just go usage docs and if we scroll a little bit <coughs> if we zoom out a little bit what you're gonna do is say uh, npm install bevel dash g which stands for global um, I have it but I'm just gonna do it for you guys quickly so you need to have Node installed for this, uh, Node.js, and npm, which is a Node Package Manager, comes installed with Node, and it allows you to to, to install the npm uh, Node Node Package modules. <clears throat> After you do that, scroll a little bit down, and we need to find this line where it says to compile a file. Every time that you change it, use the Watch or W option. So what does this mean? Okay, so. First, let's let's go to uh, our desktop and let's create a directory called uh, ES6 uh, JS Broadcast and let's then uh, move to that directory and inside of this directory, let's create two files. One will be called um, one will be called uh, main JS and another one will be called compile.js. So in the main.js file, we will type our ECMAScript uh, 6 and compiled version will have the com compiled version, which is ECMAScript 5, which you can use then in, in your projects and stuff like that. Okay, so um, right now when we have a bevel installed, what we need to do is basically say this. Oops, so we need to do this. So let's just copy that. And if we go ahead here in the terminal and, and paste this, we'll just change this. So instead of script compile, we will pick our name, our compile file, and here we'll pick our main.js file. And if we press enter, now we're watching for any file changes. And each time we save this file, it will be saved in, into this file. So now if we go ahead and open our text editor, in my, in my case, Sublime, I'm gonna kind of hide this bar here and I'm gonna open like two windows and I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder we have just created called ECMAScript 6 uh, JS Broadcast and I'm gonna go ahead and open main, main JS file here and compile file, file here. So now if we try to say let x is equal to hey J, JS Broadcasters and if we save that we will get the compiled version in the right window. You can do this, I mean, as long as you have a terminal installed, you can do this in any any IDE. My preference is Sublime Text because it's very lightweight, very fast, and it's my favorite text editor, and I would recommend it to pretty much anybody who wants to write some web apps. Uh, so basically what we did in this video, we have went to Bubble.js, so babbljs.io, uh, we have installed it by typing npm install babbl g, which stands for global. You can also write this. 
we have also uh, after we have installed that we have created two files and uh, created a created a folder and um, and two files which is main.js and compile.js and then we have started uh, watching for the changes and then we have then we have used this command which uh, so we have used pebble main.js watch for the files and output the file called compile.js which is this file here okay now if you have this installed there's one more thing if you're using sublime what you can do you can go to your uh, package control and install bevel here uh, i already do have it installed obviously but it will type bevel.js and also we can install you can install next generation javascript and react snippets for sublime let's let's actually install this as well i didn't didn't have it but as, as you can see here in my bottom right corner it says javascript let's let's go there once more so javascript ultimate here and i actually have javascript bubble here so when you install the plugin i just told you you will actually have this kind of a better highlighting and stuff like that for my for ECMAScript 6. Anyway, thanks for watching this first video on, on, on getting uh, started with ECMAScript 6. This is how we set up our environment. In this, in the next video, we will start talking about uh, uh, LUTs and VAR and the differences about them. And then as we progress, we will go to classes and all the other videos that ECMAScript 6 offers. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you can still mess with JS and learn something with me. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask and don't forget to mess with JS.